It's that time of the week again. It is Tuesday, which means another episode of Rusted Development. Two guys, two minutes, talk about Rust. Chris is super excited, super, super excited because today I brought some fan mail. This one is from a Bob. It says, Dear Morons, why don't you actually look at the clock for once? You say the show is two minutes and then you talk for four. Well, that's a little pushy and kind of rude. Wow. Okay. Not wrong, but well, this, this one's from Katie. Katie. Hey guys, love the show. Thank you, Katie. Bob could take some lessons. Hey, how do I de-rust a metal part that is too large to soak in your metal rescue bath? That is an excellent question. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how to remove rust on a large metal part. Let's get into it. Now, the story of rust. And the two guys who talked about it in two minutes. It's a rusted develop. All right, Mr. Bob, we're gonna put two minutes on the clock and we're gonna try our best. No, we're gonna stick to it, oh, Mr. Okay. Impatient Pants. Yeah, okay, we're gonna Here stick. Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> so like Kelvin mentioned in the beginning of this video, this gel is used for something that you can't soak, that's too awkward to soak, like your minivan or that big piece of machinery that's out on your shop floor right now. All you're gonna have to do is take off this lid. You're gonna see it's a yellowish clear color, wafts of citrus and rust removal juice, maybe a 45 year, perhaps. Mm, good year. All you're gonna do is take a paintbrush, glob some of this goop off, rub it on the surface of the metal part where that rust is at. And then this next part is very important. You're gonna take cling wrap. I know, sounds kind of weird, but literally the stuff from like your kitchen that you'd wrap food in. Put it on the metal part covering the metal rescue gel to keep it moist. Now I know moist is a word that a lot of you don't like to talk about. We're gonna, but we're gonna say it. We're gonna say moist. it. Moist. 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 It's a gross word. Capital M. M moist. Gross. Then you're gonna leave for 30 minutes to a day, depending on how severe that rust is. You're gonna come back, peel off the cling wrap, wipe off the goop, and boom, as you once said, you've got a spanking clean part. Spanking clean part. Spanking clean part. One spanking clean part that you can keep spanking clean using our dry coat rust preventative spray afterwards. So after you have that nice spanking clean part, spray it down, keep it safe. Everything that Armor does is clean, safe, and easy, which means that this gel has no phosphoric acids, no solvents, no alkalis, and is non-toxic. We do recommend that you wear gloves, but you would wear gloves when you're washing dishes or when you're gardening anyway. Those aren't dangerous, it's just a good practice. And the way that it's working is through chelation technology, which means it's literally picking off like a claw, the rust from the metal part. And it's not harming the metal part at all. It's not harming any paint that might be on the metal part. Now you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, you guys are armor, but I see a blaster logo there and you're right. And that's because you can go to a lot of retail stores and buy from blaster our metal rescue gel, rust remover, or you can buy it industrially from us here at Armor. It's in stock, it's ready to ship. So if you have a big rusty metal part that you are just sick of looking at, give us a call, shoot us an email to info at armorvci.com and we will take care of the rest. That's it. I think we kept it under two minutes this time. That has been a Rust Development. Two guys, two minutes, talk Rust. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye.